hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, I saw this article uh, in New York Times, uh, 17 Cooking Tips Our Food Staff Swears By. I looked at them, I thought they were all excellent. Uh, I may not necessarily agree to all of them, but I thought it would be a good idea for me to uh, explain to my viewers. Uh, the first one is based on the French term mise en place, which simply means that to have everything ready before you cook. Sarah definitely uh, is right, uh, because cooking is a set of chemical reactions. Therefore, having everything ready is really important, and hence my advanced prepping. A tip number two, a taste as you go. And that's clearly no argument from me, uh, because I am uh, a proponent of uh, flavor chasing. And number three, don't crowd the pan. And that's why the wok is so excellent, uh, because the wok is so scalable, you can cook a lot or you can cook very little. Uh, also, by cooking the meat and vegetables separately will allow you to control their flavor and texture. Well, I know some dishes deserve to have a lot of sauce, but some other dishes, too much sauces might not be actually good. I would definitely decide how much sauce that I need, uh, depending on the dish. And number five, organization. Now, with advanced prepping, organization is clearly very important. In this video, I talk about how to organize your prep. Of course, organization is also very important for your sauces, your herbs, and spices. You want them to be ready anytime when you need them. I definitely agree with Melissa how important to season your dish. But I will go beyond that. I use my masala daba with different kind of herbs and spices in it. By having all these different uh, spices available to me all at once, uh, I was able to make choices and do uh, experimentation. Well, I have absolutely no argument about this. Read your recipe. In fact, study your recipe closely uh, so you can convert the recipe into a template if this is the recipe that you enjoy, and you can create variations. Uh, I could not agree uh, more how important salt is. In fact, uh, even when you make ice cream, when you don't have salt, the ice cream doesn't taste as good. But when it comes to cooking, I try to use as little salt as possible. And number nine, room temperature. I actually never thought of this point too much, but after reading this, I think it makes a lot of sense. But for certain things, you should not keep in the room temperature for too long because they might get spoiled. Yes, Geneva is absolutely right. Chopstick is one of the most uh, useful uh, utensil in the kitchen. If you don't know how to use chopstick, you should learn it. A chopstick is also great for mixing. Uh, I remember when I was growing up, everybody used chopsticks to beat up eggs. Oh, definitely, garbage bowl is a must-have in your cooking, and I use a compost pot. A friend of mine using the standard uh, supermarket a plastic bag uh, fitted over a mixing bowl. Uh, start garlic in cold oil. Uh, I have never done that before. I usually warm up the oil first uh, before I put the garlic in. Uh, although I try to put the garlic in when the oil is not super hot. Oh yes, dishcloth is absolutely essential. But I use the type of dishcloth known as the Swedish sponge cellulose cloth. It works like a sponge, but it behaves like a towel. And with this, I don't use paper towel anymore. Uh, definitely, I use this trick all the time. I always leave a pizza stone in my oven. Uh, I love baking bread, so uh, having an oven that with even temperature is important. Uh, I do find my broiler to be highly useful. Uh, there are times that, say for example, I'm making ribs, I will use it to create a glaze. Oh, definitely, keep your kitchen counter as open as possible. I do not leave anything on my kitchen counter unless it is absolutely necessary. Also, I constantly uh, try to figure a way uh, to make my kitchen more organized. And last but not the least, I try to clean up as you cook. It actually is quite easy to do. Also, at the same time, try to put things away when you finish using them. Uh, you might be already using many of these tips already. So, okay, I hope you do find something uh, useful. Uh, so thank you for all your support of my YouTube channel. Uh, I will see you next time.